sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! Okay, I'm gonna say it right here. I don't mind the yellow paint in Capcom games, unless it's really silly. That right there saying this way is very oh, silly. Who painted that? I don't know! Who painted that? <laughs> like, this one kind of makes sense. That's a clear indicator, but having it just say, oh, this way, idiot. Oh, towards the bad guy? I never even would have considered that. I'm gonna stand up here in the balcony and I will take shots at them. All right, bring it on, Carlito. How I'll do I, but I keep, I keep forgetting no. how yeah. I keep forgetting how to get up there, though. How do I get up there? I, don't, I will paint my way up there. See, this way and then Ooh. up here. All right, this is where I realized that the AI for the psychopaths has also gotten better. Carlito actually has a roundhouse kick, and when you're getting too close, he will immediately turn and kick. Duel! It is rough. This actually turned into a hard fight. Harder, anyway. So I wanted to test if the mannequin torso was actually still one of the better weapons of the game. Well, clearly he is, he is terrified of it, <laughs> so it must do something. I found out that when I talked about the mannequin torso, I was at level 50, max stats, but the King Salmon still deals more than half! Yes! So you can kill him with a fish. Haha! <laughs> I will take it! I will take it! I will take the fish! He got away. Who was that anyway? I don't know. Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry, I've got nothing to tell you. Look, I don't know what Jesse told you, but as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Hmm? Who is that? Where did you take You help it? me, I help you. Damn. You're one hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot-headed underhanded hotshot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. You're with Homeland Security? Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza. 
right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story? Or not? Capcom, go all in on Frank West. Put all your chips on Frank. Get him in here. So uh, here's a fun little tip for you. There are some blind spots in this game where you could just shoot without taking damage. Hey, hey, hey I can't hit you! Except, Wait, if, if he moves forward, then you're kind of out of luck. But uh, we didn't even see half the fight because the King Salmon is so overpowered. <laughs> so, when he gets down to about half, he starts going to the restaurants and back. Ooh. And that's where he starts, like, chucking grenades massively at you to try and kill you, as you're trying to make your way up to him. And, uh, did you notice how Brad had something to say on the side? Yeah. All the psychopaths and anybody who's with you during psychopath fights has extra dialogue. Cool. God, I love the King Salmon. It's so stupid, but so lovely. And he screams bloody murder when he dies. <laughs> I would, too, if somebody beat me to death with a giant fish. Engaged. All right. First psychopath defeated. And yet that didn't level us up. I was very surprised about that. I'd imagine it's going to start slowing down after a while. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right about the time where the game starts getting really fucking hard. Oh, hold on, oh. hold on, hold on. Oh. I need to show this off for all the new people out there. Cooking is back. Cook food! Is, is rotten stuff back, too? Of course. Oh, it's even steaming! Yes! I don't know if it was steaming the original, but it's yeah, yep. more noticeable here. Mm-hmm. Let's see, we got, uh, ooh, baking ingredients. We can toss that at a zombie. I think that'd be kind of funny. Get flour all over them. Come again! Uh, I don't know. No, this way, Frank. Okay. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, that actually wasn't outtake. Oh, that's my bad. I kind of love the dodge roll in this game because they fixed it. In the original, when you dodged with Frank, he, like, stopped before it was a, he gets up. Oh, it was an ugly lurch is what it was. Exactly. But now, instead of pushing the thumbstick twice in one direction, pick a direction, press B, you dodge roll. Now it's Dark Souls because that came out since Dead Rising 1 came out. Yep. They do nerf it in a way because it takes a while for you to be able to do it again. You can't just, like, constantly dodge roll everywhere. I'd rather take a while to do it again than take a while to stand up and keep moving, you know? Yep, I fully agree. So, of course I had to check this out if oh, the Servbot got... helmet worked. They got rid of the mirrors. Well, the mirrors... kind of... Well, they did work back in the original, but yeah, it's... Disappointing. It's not here. I think it's I think that's right. just that's a limitation of the RE engine because uh, the thing about I've noticed about the RE engine in most it, of the games is that mirrors. when it comes to the lighting, they have that shit locked. Yeah. If you have a like a flashlight or whatever that uh, controls like lighting, that's only in dark uh, corridors where the game is holding your hands. Like you can only do it here. You can only get your flashlight out right here. Everything lighting wise, they are doing themselves. What? The hell? That's new. There's just a magazine in here that gives you all the abilities early. Only when you're carrying it. Yes, that was every single move that you can learn in the game in a magazine. And it's just there in the gym. It's just there in the gym. And you just got like an hour and a half of the game. Yep. And it's just right there. It's just right there. And you, you get every single move. Once you drop it, you lose all of those. But yeah, it's just there, just in case you want everything early. I love the physics of these sandbags now. They are, ooh, ooh, they are ooh. very funny. Oh, well. Eh, eh, eh. I want I want to get the bonus. I want to get the bonus, because if you destroy all the sandbags, of course you get a bonus. But uh, be careful. They fight back. The physics are so crazy now that they actually fight back, and you can get caught in an infinite loop if they go too far. So I was trying to read this magazine. I kept getting hit by the sandbags. Leave me alone. Let her be the editor out. No, the no, no, stop. Suplex <laughs> Kicking the pfft! <laughs> so I was dying laughing when I saw that. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, so we got a couple survivors to save. That's just get, getting that chainsaw for the first time and running out and just carving. <laughs> that's just... That's one of the 
magical <laughs> moments of the game right there. Shit, just leave me alone, you For those out there who thought you had to beat the living bejesus out of hey, these guys for them up, to follow you, punk. no. You just gotta knock some sense into him, punch him three times, and he's there. I've heard of people who have made Bert defect and utterly never want to follow you again because they thought, no, I just got to beat the living shit out of him for him to get the idea. No. I may have accidentally hit him with a dumbbell once. <laughs> you brained him. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, no. Um, fuck. It is very easy to do. I will give you that because anything extremely heavy like a rock or a dumbbell, if you accidentally hit a survivor with it, if your level's high enough, you're braining them. They're they're just dead. But it's it's so satisfying though. Yeah, because you hear the spray of their brain matter go all over the and place. The chunks and the impact and the, it's just this. Does that make us sound like psychopaths? If we're t if we're not talking about a video game that focuses on visceral gameplay, then oh, yes we would. Got a glitch. Uh oh uh, oh uh. oh. He spawned! Count that up to some of the jank. Not just from the original, but this is what happens when you update a game from 2006. Go. Sometimes you get, a, you get spawn jank like that. It doesn't break anything, it's just funny when you see it. What's the matter? Are you okay? Grace! Ah! That's right! Excuse me, ma'am. You know, it was really weird to play this in the original. On a CRT, <laughs> where you can't read it. <laughs> where you can't read it, so this lady's just grabbed me, it's like, Whoa! Get off! And I think I just... <laughs> brained her with a dumbbell Oops! after that! But now they have, like, dialogue, and I can tell what they want, and I can care more. Look at that, she's scowling at me because I'm pointing a gun in her direction. And she's also pushing me because well, she mean, sees you, me as a threat! You are whizzing bullets past her ears, just, just like, hang on! <laughs> there you go, there you go, that's being a gentleman. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. Oh wait, I don't have the fedora yet. I'll have to get that later. Let's get you someplace safe. Just leave me alone! <laughs> no, instead you got this. Manady. <laughs> Holy shit! He still got it, folks! He never lost it! I never heard her cry like that. Please. Shop. Just leave me alone. That's what, you want to stick around with them? With the ones that ate your little girl? <laughs> He's got a point there. Come on, I'm not going to let you die here. <laughs> and then she's okay with it. Sweet. Did you? I never thought about it that way. Let's go. Oh. You know, you might have something there, pal. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about AI jank a little bit. I, I see him stumbling up one another, but that's just a that's just a Follow thing. Me. That's just a thing. Models sometimes don't know where they are in relation to one another because they want to be at the place that, they, that they're all Come at, on. but they gotta they gotta you know, work around it, and it takes some time Follow for them to me. work around it. Just yeah, game dev is hard. Okay, I've compared Follow these guys me. to the Dead Rising Two survivors. They're not nearly as stupid as OG, but they still have their issues. For one, it takes them like a whole five seconds for them to realize that you said to go over there, and sometimes when you do that. Their AI kicks in because now they can defend one another. Sometimes they think, I should fight first. Oh, oh, wait a minute, he told me to go over here, so sometimes that'll happen. So it seems Follow like there's me. been, like, it's, Look there's always been a kind of, uh, uh, I guess, priority issue? Yes, it like, is. It is a mix-up in their priorities on what they do when the player tells them. I mean, I'm I'm telling them to come on, come on, follow me. I'm sending them a point to go, and then uh, there's a zombie that shows up, and I think this, it just gets confused because it's not sure in what order to do these things, and it needs to think and read and redirect. And game dev is hard, man. I am the horse of war. Let me in. It was a one war horse movie. Yeah, why don't you hit dog go away, Frank? <laughs> Spirit. <laughs> That's all I got. Follow me. I do like that some of the Follow zombie me. AI, they don't aggro when you're helping a survivor. That's straight from the OG. Or it takes them longer to actually catch you. So Leah here is my free ticket to not get attacked by zombies at all go. until I do. So what you do is you just leave her outside, send the other two survivors in, and you just carry her with you all around. Mm -hmm. You are going to be with me for the rest of the time I am here! Absolutely! But uh, let's go ahead and get suited up. We're about to meet one of the main characters. I think we need to suit up a little bit. 
did did Frank put like uh, hair gel in his hair or something? Uh, hair coloring. Okay, hair coloring. See, yeah. I, I saw him put like you know a white sticky substance into his hair. Yeah, and yeah. I wonder what happened to the horse head. I forgot that this cutscene starts on the floor. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me safe if passage just open through this gate. Just open this no, gate. It's for I am your not protection. Any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going to uh, stay right do here. Dr. Barnaby. Sir. Thank you. Doc goodbye. Dr. Barnaby. <clears throat> Doc. Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. Shouldn't you have shown up with backup? I mean, it's a zombie abyss. So, you know, whatever. Maybe they were sent in with, like, very little knowledge. It's like, hey, we got a disturbance. And then they're like, oh, zombie's right. Come on! Uh, Frank, can I hold the lady next? No. <laughs> you carry Aaron, then. <laughs> Aaron is a bit of a wuss. I mean, let's be honest. We've known the guy for a grand total of, like, five minutes. Total wuss. All I need to know. Mm-hmm. Oops. Oh, sorry. Still getting used to the... <laughs> Pong! Still get There! I you go there! I'm getting used to the controls. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare anybody. Everybody chill the fuck out. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting it. It's fine. Flying around in showcases. Just up for grabs. Oh, hey. A survivor that really likes me pointed out that there are some throwable weapons around here. That's kind of neat. Yeah, like dumbbells. It, mm. Somebody there? Help! Please! Uh, hold on, Bill. I got you. I got you, Bill. Just trying not to kill you in the process. These light cardboard boxes have ensnared me in this closet. Please help! Is he secretly a, a medieval knight? <laughs> Did he have a British accent? I couldn't tell. Uh, I think he's just some dude. Colorado man. I was just trying to get the place organized with the whole The most milk toast polo shirt I think I've ever seen. Absolutely. You do not look good in stripes, my dude. This guy says like that shirt says I've never even heard of the word ambition. <laughs> well, yeah. He got stuck in this store because the cardboard boxes fell. Created a wall. He's been stuck in here for 2 days. Zombies. Oh shoot. Actually, that's probably one of my favorite punchlines for this little mini side quest here. I'm gonna go home. Now listen. You just jumped over that. <laughs> what the hell's going on out there? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That punchline lands better. What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> yeah, having the survivors talk and Frank responding to them is so the good. There's one mission in particular that so I think you'll be impressed with that has actually been ten times improved by having them speak. Ooh. I don't even have any shoes, mister. I like the feeling of the blood on my soles. You ever seen Die Hard? I love that movie. I love walking on glass. <coughs> mm. I like it when it stings. It reminds me that I'm alive. Which is weird because I'm alive, but I don't feel anything in my feet right now. Frank, <laughs> come on! I can see something. Uh oh. Oh dear. Oh please no. Not these guys. S Not oh, these guys. Son of a bitch. Oh. Oh. Okay. I spent too much time goofing. I spent too much time goofing. It's seven o'clock. My internal clock is ticking. I. Ding ding, seven o'clock, time to go rabid. Like, it's not just like, you know, roughly around oh, there, like, you know, some start, you know, turning crazy at 658, you know, <laughs> some late bloomers don't realize uh, realize until like, you know, uh, like 709 or whatever. <laughs> yeah. It's just six, six fifty nine, fifty eight, fifty nine, seven. 59, 58, 59, 7. It's, it's very immediate and very funny that it is very immediate. <laughs> it's part of the camp, I suppose. <laughs> I just want to make a special note, because this game is a lot easier, one of the ways 
it is so much easier is survivors will actually let you know that they hear another survivor. I actually have an alternate take where Leah lets me know, hey, I can hear somebody in this area. Was Maybe she, we should go find them. Was she heard Bill? She heard Bill. And he was a missable survivor in the original. So they give you a little hint. Hey, you should probably go check out the stars here. So, all right, so uh, take some, uh, give some. Mm -hmm. We, uh, it's easier to gain levels, on, but now we can take two blocks of damage if you fuck up a quick time event. Yeah, it hurts a lot when you fail one of those. It really sucks. But it's okay. I mean, this just seems like a celebration of the original, if you ask me. I love the term Deluxe Remaster. Not mm. only does it make the title Dr. Doctor, but <laughs> it's just really nice to be able to go... Yeah, yeah, I agree with that, because it's not a full-blown remake. It's not quite deluxe, because there's no, like, you know, added content you can add to Dead Rising. There's no DLC or whatever. Oh, but... wait. Maybe there's Follow some content me. that was originally cut that made it into here. Hold, hold, hold wait, wait, what? I love when that happens! There is a zombie variant in here that was cut from the original game. If you ever see Come a on. cop zombie, in the original, they were always equipped with a handgun. Me. But their action of accidentally firing their handgun because they have no control over their fingers was cut from the original and now that's what they do here. Oh, I love it. Come I love on. when games add stuff in that was cut. There is also a weapon that we'll get to a lot later that was cut from the original and is back here. See also the Persona 1 PSP remake. <laughs> Done Symphony of the Night on PS4. Actually, just all the Castlevania collections. It, pretty much, yeah. Oh, yeah, that never made it to the States? Well, here you go. All right, we're here. Our first difficulty spike. They got the license back! <laughs> you missed, loser! Yeah, you suck! Yo, right look over there! there. Hey! <laughs> All right! Looks like we found our next contestant! We're gonna take out that dude and snatch his old mate! Here we go! Take it easy! Shut up! <laughs> oh! the chills I got when that song started again, but also the amount of anger from previous playthroughs from years ago, where I'm just like, oh yeah, this is where most people die. Oh, this is where you find out, yeah, you're gonna have to kill these guys. There is no running away from them. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this, this is not a stage hazard. This is a boss fight is what you mean to say. A uh, boss fight that keeps coming back. This is just an annoyance to make it to where, you know, you've got a big, long courtyard. What if we gave you something to fight, just so you're not walking through with zombies? Uh-huh. That was fine with the courtyard of zombies. That was fine. Of ooh, course. Ooh, ooh. Yep. We got them. Get them good. Did I get all three? I think I got only one of them. That's that's a car. That's a car. It's a car. It's a car. car. It's a car. It's a car. I'm happy to say their AI has also improved by a bit. You can still trick them and have them run to poles, but their AI now makes it, if stuck, immediately go into reverse yes. and fix it. Right, okay. Yeah, so I, I can't do what I did in the original and just, like, just camp there and have them die, but... Ooh, Sophie! I'm Sophie! So sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think that was me, but... I think she got run over. I believe she did, too. I think she got run over again. Uh, wait, where'd she go? I think she fell through the world. But, uh, well, I can't save her from that. If this is your first time playing Dead Rising, kill the driver first. That'll stop the car and your biggest threat. Yes, do exactly what he did and kill him last. Uh, well, mm -hmm. You know, do as I say, not as I do. I'm, I'm the Dead Rising guy. This, do is, why, this is why you kill the driver <laughs> first. Because, you know, idiot number two says, oh, I should... Oh. Oh. Actually, at least the guy in the, in the gunner seat is, you know, you know, is dead, so... Shit, now that I remember it, the the passenger does get back into the driver's seat. What? 
I forgot about that. He does do that if you kill the driver first. The only guy who doesn't move is the gunner. Oh, well, well he, he, he ain't moving no more. I if you kill, if you kill, so if you kill prisoner one and three, and you jump into the car, and he stole, and, uh... <laughs> hey, hey, wait, hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Get, get, what, whoa, what are you whoa, doing? Hey, 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 hey! All right, so you can still steal the gun. That's nice. It's got 200 shots. This is just a fantastic weapon. Immediately kills a zombie on him, uh, upon shot. But you are stationary. You can't move and shoot. Oh, I thought this was a new uh, improved control scheme, but you could move and shoot. Worst game ever. I guess, I, they, I guess they forgot that one. What a fucking oversight. What an absolutely ridiculous game. I wish Capcom never made this. It brought out the stupidest people on the internet. Well, she took off. She does. She just, she just runs around. Just aimlessly, not hiding or anything. I mean, your husband just got brained by mm -hmm. some convicts who are also now dead, and, you know, there's zombies everywhere. I think I think all you can do is just kind of run like Ophelia. Just go, hey, naughty, naughty, hey, naughty, naughty. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very sad. It is also very violent, which, uh, yeah. I don't think we ever mentioned it, even in the original LP, but by God, this game is violent. That's why it's, it has a rating Z in Japan. Yeah, when when they go Z, you know it's it's for something big. Mm -hmm. Like like we're talking gross violence. Yeah, and I'm trying to think. Come on! I think only Dead Rising Three was the Come one on. that kind of matched this one in how much violence Come actually on. happens. I think Dead Rising Two is still rated Z, but I'm talking like impactful psychopath deaths, like just nasty stuff in general. Dead Rising Three is pretty OP in that. And to think, I complained about Dead Rising 3 during the LP of Dead Rising 1! Dead Rising 2 is also Z. How about 4? Please say M. The equivalent of M. Please. That'd be... Well, uh... You're looking for D is what you're looking for. D? Okay. So the way Sarah works is, uh... You've got, uh... A, B, C, D, and then goes to Z. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, Frank! Look at that! Dead like Rising 4 is also a Z. No? Really? Come Maybe on. it's just zombies in general. I think it's the idea of you being able to do such gruesome, horrible things to yeah. human enemies. Uh, that makes sense. Dismemberment is a really big thing over there. Like, yeah. th you know there's two versions of Resi 7 over there, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You got the grotesque version where... Uh, I can't believe that they cut out the, the part with the, with the cop's head being cut off and, yep. and kept in the fridge. I know the game is censored in Japan... Especially with a psychopath we'll see later, where instead of decapitated corpses, they have their heads still attached. Because decapitation is still a no-no. Yeah, it's a thing. Which makes sense. I mean, that's that's an unpleasant sight. So how is it getting all the survivors in the doors? I believe the radius has been extended a little bit. It is actually easier to do. Come on! That went into my foot? Ow. Ow. Yay! The queens are back! If you see a zombie dancing, pick up the queen that's attached to the back of its neck. It kills a big crowd of zombies. They all come in, what the fuck?! <laughs> they start doing the mamba, they start getting in conga lines. There's a dancing zombie. What's up? I want the bee attached to you. We're surviving zombies. We're surviving zombies. We're surviving zombies. Have you seen the music video used to advertise Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered? No, I haven't. It's sung from the point of view of the zombies. Come on. And it's like a happy song. I'll play it for you after this. 
I like the golf clubs and all the soccer balls. I like the chainsaws oh, and all the bars they throw. <laughs> boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada, boom de yada. It's a very happy song about being a the undead. It's very funny. Yeah, I, I can't really see anything that's indicating it. Maybe it's that hand icon letting you know that, oh, hey, they're close enough. But I think that's just to give them something. So I'll do some more research. 114,000! Woo! Holy crap! I'll take that. Yeesh. That's like, what, five or six people you brought back? Five people, yeah. Hmm. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The Okut's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We got a line out or what? The signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're gonna to have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right, we gotta deal with the situation we've been handed. The boneheads back at HQ might be working on something too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon, it's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Um, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. You're dealing with the very sensitive secrets, and you got this guy. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah trust me. <laughs> now go ahead and tell me what's going on. Yeah, then I'll tell help me what's you. Going on. It'll be yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. It'll be okay. It'll be, it'll be fine. All right. 6 a.m. Sounds fun. 6 a.m. That's, mm -hmm. that's in about nine hours. Now, I could get some sleep like to keep me well rested for the zombie apocalypse anyway that's, that's, that's occurring. I'm sorry you had to get involved or, in this or I could take this uh, uh, bottle of trucker night. pills. Go. <laughs> yup. In fact, taking all those trucker pills can make time go faster. You can pass time at this save point. You can fast forward the timer. Oh. Oh. Like, to the minute? As in, you can hit fast forward, put the controller down, and as soon as the next thing comes up, it'll stop. If you need to get a call or if there's a mission that advances, the advance time will actually stop when something new shows up. Or you can hit Y and skip everything and it won't stop until you stop it. You can actually skip all three days if you wanted to, just sitting here staring at your watch blankly while time flows by. This is one of the biggest fixes I've ever seen. Because there is some downtime in this game where you just goof off. Now I don't have to. I love it. I'm, I, I, I just couldn't speak for a moment. Let's see a couple silly things. So, uh, this, oh, you're gonna kill that poor lady! I wouldn't dare. You're but gonna, you're gonna cut her in half. Bill is okay? is having some trouble because Bill? I sent him over there and he's just standing up there for some reason. And these are my first attempts on Whoa. beating the convicts. They now have a one-two punch: run you over and smack you with the bat when you try to leave. That's rough. Ugh. So here's what happens when you die. You can either continue, which is where autosave comes in, which makes it very handy for a first-timer. Autosave? Yes. It autosaves every time you go to a different area. Oh, that's, that's the best news I've actually heard. So if you keep getting stuck on these guys like I did, you can just continue right outside the door. You can hit the brick wall. Yep. Unfortunately, I came here with nothing, Yuck! and with five, and with uh, five survivors. I'm trying to save, and I kept getting my ass kicked. They have load game where you can go to a previous save, but my last save was at the beginning, oh. so that's not happening. So I tried my best with an SMG and a magazine to kill these guys, and it just wasn't happening. 
So if you this ever happens to you, there is absolutely no shame in hitting the start over button. Exactly. It carries your stats to a new save file. But also gives you an achievement. <laughs> Never give up. Yeah. There you go. That, I think that's one of the biggest draws of this game. It's like, is the game too hard? Start over from the beginning with what you got now and then build up to it. 